using your time wisely. Because your time is so valuable, you need to have systems for prioritizing your work, blocking time out to focus, and for organizing your physical space. This course includes a to-do list template that you're required to use during the course. Just like your filing system, it's divided into six business processes. These processes help you to determine your priorities. For example, right now you're focusing on step one, get a business, or the executive process. So when you look at your to-do list, anything in that section will be your top priority. In the next lesson, you will focus on creating a product or service or product development. While you are in that lesson, product development is your main focus. Once you learn to think about your business as a set of processes and the order that you work through these processes, your to-do list will become a valuable way to determine the most important activities to focus on at any given time. There are dip your or exercises that will teach you how to use your to-do list. The best platform for small businesses is Google. Gmail and Google Calendar are well designed for small business use and they are free. Google Calendar works well with a lot of software that small businesses use. So if you start with it, it makes it easier to work with these other programs when you're ready. You can create specialized calendars for different parts of your life and color code them. When you receive invitations from people for meetings, usually you can click a button and add the appointment to your own calendar automatically. Google Calendar also has a phone app. You can make appointments while you are out and about and they will sync with your computer in your desktop browser. One way to look professional is to use scheduling software to manage your calendar. The most common software is Calendly. I use Book Like a Boss. When you use this software, you set up times that you are available for appointments, and then you send a link out to a person that you want to schedule an appointment with. They select a time that works for them. Since the program has access to your calendar, the calendar they select from only shows times that you are free to meet. The most valuable reason to use this kind of software is for making a sale. It gets prospects on your schedule fast, so they commit to a sales appointment while they are excited about purchasing. Block scheduling is setting aside blocks of time to focus on work. For example, you might use Mondays to write out your to-do list, pay your bills, reply to email, and other executive activities. You can set aside time to work on designing your product or course. When you design your block scheduling system, it's good to work with your natural rhythms of the kind of work you like to do at the start of the week, in the mornings versus the afternoons, etc. One of the reasons to use scheduling software is to manage your block scheduling. You can limit your availability for meetings, so there are times you've set aside to get work done. In the example above, a 20-minute Zoom call can only be set up on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. The other days are set aside for focused work. Your physical space affects your well-being. At one of my first jobs, 15 minutes before the end of the work week, every person in the office turned off their computers, stacked up their papers, and whipped out spray cleaner to wipe down their desks. The manager explained that no one gets any work done 15 minutes before the weekend, but that they could be ready to be productive when they walked into the office at the start of the week. It's a habit that I've kept. When you're working for yourself, you can set up your physical space to suit you. Having it clean and dust-free will help you feel productive and in charge. It's okay to use your work time to clean and organize your space. Take a few moments to review some of the key points from this course. In making your business formal, we discussed how formally establishing your business makes it easier for it to grow. 
In the organized executive, you learn that the time you put into starting up your business is sweat equity and some tips for how to value your time. Then in organizing papers and notes, I explained why paper-based systems can have a place in your business and how to use paper systems in a structured way. In setting up cloud storage, I explained why I recommend to back up your valuable files to a cloud storage system. Next, in organizing computer files, I taught some strategies for naming your files and folders so that you can easily locate your work files both while you are involved in using them and when you need to revisit them. Finally, in this lesson, using your time wisely, I shared how to set up a block schedule and stick to it.